Well, hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Kalonda Casey. I am 63 years old and I am so honored and thankful that you have stopped by today to watch me do a get ready with me using practically new to me or all new makeup. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I am ready for spring makeup. I am ready for spring clothes. I am ready for spring and I am just so excited. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Tell me down in the comments what you would like to see me do in an upcoming video because I am here for you every Monday at noon. Without further ado, let's push in and let's get started. I have a lot of makeup. We all know I have a lot of makeup because I am the most mature woman on the Sephora squad. I don't know if you know exactly what that is, but it is a group of people from around the United States and Canada that represents Sephora and we are their influencers. And um, it is harder to become a Sephora squad member than it is to get into Harvard University little known fact there. And for me to be 63 years old, and this is my second year on the squad, I am so proud and I am so honored to be part of such a prestigious group of individuals. And now with that being said, I do not feel as if I am prestigious. I feel like I am Kalanda and I am here to share with you what I like for my mature skin and what works for me and what doesn't. So we are also going to be using the Sephora Collection Pro Makeup Brushes today. In case you all do not know, the annual spring savings event starts on the 5th of April and it runs through the 15th of April. And depending on your tier level, is when you get to shop. I'll put all the details in the description below. But I wanna show you the Pro Makeup Brush Series because the Sephora collection is 30% off during the sale. This is a great time to pick up brushes that are affordable and can do your makeup for you without breaking the bank. So why don't we push in and why don't we get started? This is my favorite thing to do, long form makeup looks. Let's go. I went shopping at Sephora, surprise, surprise, and I want to share with you my first thoughts on some of these new to me makeup. Some are new releases and some are new to me, and I have not tried any of them. The first thing that I always do is apply my Paula's Choice SPF 50 all over my entire face. I always wear an eyelid primer and this one is by Rare Beauty and it is my favorite one. I'm using a concealer brush to tap it into my eyelids and look at the difference. I love the way it looks and feels when I'm applying my eyeshadow. In case I haven't mentioned this to you all, I have construction going on in my home. And so this has been very difficult this week to try and get in front of the camera when I do not have several men running around my house with hammers, paint brushes, ladders, uh, power tools, you name it. So I'm going to be doing a lot of voiceover in this video. This Milk Makeup Cloud Glow is new to me. It is a primer, it is very tacky. I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation first. Today I am using the NARS Light Reflecting foundation in the color Patagonia. I think it's a really good color match for my skin. It goes on really pretty and it does exactly what it says it does. I consider this foundation medium coverage. It is definitely not a full coverage foundation, but I do like that it does show my skin through it. Next up is the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Oil. Have you tried it? If not, I highly recommend it. It is by far my favorite lip oil on the market right now. I forgot to apply my setting powder to my eyelids. I am using the Givenchy Prisma Libre and it is definitely my favorite. Now I'm going to start filling in my eyebrows and I am using precisely my brow 
by Benefit Cosmetics. This is definitely my holy grail pencil, and I just love how easy it is to use, and it looks great, and I am using the color Cool Gray. They do make a smaller point pencil, but they do not carry it in the color gray, which is what I use. But look how nicely the brows are starting to come together. They say that our eyes are the windows to our soul, and I believe that eyebrows are definitely the curtains, and it ties it all together. My final step with my brows is to apply the Gimme Plus Brow Gel from Benefit Cosmetics. I absolutely adore this product and can't live without it. Finally, I'm going to do my eyes with the new Makeup by Mario, the Neutrals palette. Look how beautiful this palette is. I love it. I am using the Sephora Collection number 27 eyeshadow brush. And as you can see, I'm using this really pretty rose mauve color for my transition. Just so beautiful. And there is no fallout with these shadows, ladies. They go on seamlessly, and this brush is really doing a beautiful job of applying it onto mature lids. And now I am going into that outside crease and when I say that this color went on so seamlessly I mean it was seamless this formula just stands out amongst so many other eyeshadows on the market now let's blend I do this in between each color and I think it makes such a huge difference I want to give my eyes some interest, so I am going in with this beautiful steel gray color into that outside edge just to give it some more depth and dimension and interest. And again, I continue to blend as I am applying it all basically at the same time, and it is starting to look so pretty, and the eyes are coming to life. Now it's time to go in with a lighter shade on the movable eyelid. What this does for me as a woman with hooded eyes is to open up that eye and to give brightness to that movable area to where it makes my eyes look larger. I am finally back. I haven't been able to talk to you all much because we are having new windows put in, a new roof, new siding. We're basically having the entire facade of our home redone. I'm going back in with this beautiful color. Let me just run that along this lower lash line. This is the Sephora Collection Pro 15 brush. I love this color. It looks gray on here, but it is a blue gray. It is really, really stunning. I am really enjoying the Makeup by Mario. This one is the Neutrals palette, and I love his formulas on all of his eyeshadows. However, I am so excited to see this palette because it has cooler tone eyeshadows in it. Not everybody likes warm like I do, so this gives everybody something that they can look forward to using. I am using the N Beauty Project Bright and Tight Under Eye Cream. It's such a good under eye treatment before I put on my concealer. In case you do not know this, I always say with the Natasha Denona to work fast. And what I like to do is to just tap it in with my fingers and then go back in with my brush. I am using the number 71 Pro Concealer Brush to just tap that in. Really give myself a nice eye lift here. This is a nice concealer brush. That looks really pretty. Now I am going to just take my foundation brush and just blend it all out. Looks so good. Beautiful. By the way, most of these products were purchased by me. This is the Gucci bronzer. 
I have heard so many good things about this bronzer. And normally I use a cream bronzer, but I decided to do a little splurging. And now I understand why. The color bronzer is 03. This was a definite splurge. I would really recommend it. It does have a little bit of a scent, which I'm so surprised about anymore. Let's curl some lashes. Today, I am using the Huda Beauty Mascara One Coat Wow. I want to do this in real time so you all can see how beautiful this mascara is. I'll flip it. So I like to curl my lashes one side at a time and then go in with my mascara. Okay, I am so excited about this Patrick Ta blush. It is called Not Too Much, and I don't know if you know or not, but Patrick Ta, his claim to fame is use the powder first and the cream on top. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but that's the way we're going to do it today. So let's do this side first. I love a good peachy blush. I'm going to take a different brush. Look how pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. This is a beautiful color. Now what I like to do is I like to take a foundation brush and just tap it all in. I am actually taking my Rare Beauty bronzing stick and I am going to, yep. Ooh, I got that little dark. I feel like I've gone to the beach without going to the beach. I just feel bronzy and glowy. Oh, I like this so much. I'm just opening the Icon Baby by Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. And just like that, my makeup is finished. I absolutely love this lipstick combination. This is called Nude Romance. I said romance earlier, but it's Nude Romance. And the lip liner is Icon Baby. I really love this makeup look. This whole look I would wear for Easter. I would wear it to a wedding. I would wear it this spring. It is so pretty. And remember the Sephora Savings event starts on the 5th of April. And depending on your level is when you get to start shopping. So for instance, I'm Rouge. I get to start shopping on the 5th and I've already started loading my cart. 
even though I just spent a ton of money at Sephora, I will be adding a lot more things to my cart because there are so many other things that I want. And so anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. It has taken me hours to film because I'm working around a construction crew in my house I don't know how many months I'm gonna have to say those words, but I hope that this is coming to a screeching halt very soon. I hope you all really love this blouse as much as I do. I think it is so beautiful, and I'll have it linked down below as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you the next time.